GM's secret plan to turn dead EV batteries into grid-saving super bricks. Disclaimer, this video is made purely for educational and entertainment purposes, and all content is used under fair use for commentary and reporting, no copyright infringement intended. Hey there, EVpedia family. Welcome back to your ultimate pit stop for everything electric and exciting. If you're watching this but still haven't subscribed, let me tell you, that's like owning a brand new EV and never taking out for a spin. Let's fix that right now. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and help us reach our ambitious goal of 15,000 likes and 1,500 heartfelt comments on this video in the next 24 hours. You guys have blown me away before, I know we can do it again. Today we're diving into a story that's as electrifying as a lightning bolt and twice as surprising. General Motors and Redwood Materials have teamed up with one wild idea, giving your old EV battery a second life as a giant power brick to save the power grid. But here's a question for you to chew on while you watch. What percentage of capacity is generally considered the minimum roadworthy range for an EV battery before it's retired from a car? If you know the answer, or even if you want to guess, drop it in the comments below right now. And stick around to find out if you got it right by the end of this video. All right, let's get charged up and roll into the details. So here's the scoop. When your beloved EV reaches the end of its road, whether it's wrecked, retired, or simply out of range, what happens to its battery? Do they go to some kind of battery heaven? That's what I used to think, but the truth has been a lot darker. Until now, many of those massive battery packs ended up stripped down into a dusty black mass, dumped into landfills, or melted into oblivion. But wait, here comes GM and Redwood with a game-changing idea. Redwood is no small-time recycler. Founded by J.B. Straubel, yes, the former CTO of Tesla, and one of its very first employees, Redwood has made its mission to close the loop in the battery supply chain. Their vision? Instead of mining more and more minerals, why not take what's already been mined, already processed, and already built, and just use it again? Under this brand new partnership, GM will supply Redwood not just with new battery packs, but also with mountains of old, retired, or faulty packs. What Redwood does next is truly genius. They repurpose these batteries into massive, affordable energy storage systems. These systems are already stabilizing parts of America's electricity grid, powering microgrids, data centers, and even supporting AI infrastructure. Think about it, even a retired EV battery still holds tons of energy potential. Batteries are typically pulled from cars when they fall below about 70 to 80% of their original capacity. But that doesn't mean they're useless. For stationary energy storage, where weight and space aren't as crucial, they're perfect. And it doesn't stop there. These batteries come from all over, not just directly from GM. They're collected from dealerships, dismantlers, national collection networks, even old junkyards. Redwood has built an entire ecosystem of sources to keep these packs out of the trash and into meaningful service. Already, batteries from this partnership are powering a 63-megawatt-hour microgrid in Sparks, Nevada, the largest of its kind in North America, supporting the back-end of companies helping power AI technologies like OpenAI. Imagine that the same battery that once drove a Chevy Bolt is now helping keep your favorite apps running and lights on during peak demand. This partnership isn't just a feel-good green story, it's also smart business. It helps GM look environmentally responsible in front of skeptics while also addressing the tsunami of first-generation EV batteries about to come back as newer models hit the streets. And here's something I love. Redwood solution means fewer minerals need to be freshly mined, fewer questionable practices overseas, and more control over America's own battery ecosystem. Plus, it costs less energy to reuse a battery than to break it down through energy-hungry recycling processes. Pretty amazing, right? And while we're marveling at this, don't forget, if you're enjoying this story, take a second now to light up that like button like a fully charged lithium cell and help us hit our challenge goal of 15,000 likes and 1,500 thoughtful comments today. Tell us what you think so far in the comments. Would you want your car's battery to live on powering your neighborhood grid someday? Here's my take as EVpedia. I think this is one of the smartest and most inspiring stories to come out of the EV industry in years. It tackles one of the biggest criticisms head on. What do you do with the batteries? And turns it into an opportunity. Instead of letting these energy-rich packs die in obscurity, they are resurrected to support even more progress. But what about you? Would you trust your neighborhood's electricity to a bunch of retired Chevy and Tesla batteries? Tell me below. I read every single comment. And before I let you go, let me finally reveal the answer to the question I asked at the beginning. 
what percentage of battery capacity is considered the minimum for roadworthiness before an EV pack is retired? The answer is typically around 70 to 80 percent. That's when most automakers decide the pack isn't fit for the demands of daily driving, but it's still perfectly capable of powering homes, businesses, and grids. And here's a little EV fun fact you probably didn't know. Did you know that in Norway, nearly 90% of all new cars sold are EVs, making it the highest EV adoption rate in the world? That shows just how much potential electric vehicles and their ecosystems have globally. So what do you think? Are GM and Redwood paving the way for a truly sustainable EV future, or do you think more needs to be done? Share your thoughts in the comments. And of course, if you made it this far, and I know you did because you're awesome, please take a moment to support this channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up, help us smash through that 15,000 like goal, leave us one of 1,500 insightful comments, and share this video with a friend who still thinks EVs just end up in the landfill. Let's prove them wrong together. You're not just viewers, you're the heart and soul of EVpedia, and I couldn't be more grateful for each of you. Until next time, stay charged, stay curious, and keep driving the future forward.